I'm the young wolf. This is the wolf pack. As we enter the new year of 2022, let's do a quick review of 2021. Let's specifically talk about the crazy conspiracy theorists, the people who dare to question the mainstream narrative. How have some of the leading conspiracy theories aged as we move into a new year of the new world? To start off, let's talk about some of the people who are labeled anti-maskers. These are people who warned against possible health and or environmental risks when it came to masks. How have their theories aged when they used to be labeled conspiracy theorists? Mask waste is at a staggeringly high point and mask health risks are noteworthy. One point for the conspiracy theorists. How about one that's all too well known, the lab leak theory. Those who theorize that COVID was, whether intentionally or unintentionally, both man-made and leaked from the Wuhan COVID lab were called crazy people. It was said that they were spreading misinformation, including former President Donald J. Trump. Well, now it's a widely accepted mainstream narrative that is as likely as any other theory out there. It's no longer controversial, and it's very likely exactly what happened. Some people, like yours truly, were against lockdowns pretty much from day one. They said that they were unlikely to work as the data trickled out. They said that the data showed they weren't working, specifically in states which had the most strict lockdowns, when compared to states that did not have as strict lockdowns, if any. Now we know that lockdowns do not work. Point three for the conspiracy theorists. What about the mass mandated facial coverings? We've all seen them, whether on airlines, in stores, or unfortunately for some individuals at family gatherings. We now know that the vast majority of these facial coverings do not work. Unless it's an N95, sorry, it's not doing anything for you. It's worth pointing out two things here. Number one, the data around the usefulness of N95s is still hotly debated. Number two, the vast majority of individuals who you see walking around with some form of a facial cloth covering, often made in China, are doing nothing but theater. I've lost count of the score at this point, but I think you're seeing a trend. As a side note, if you want to support the journalism and information that we're sharing here at Red Liberty Media, you can donate to our Patreon right here. Let's get into some more studies of the alleged conspiracy theorists. It wasn't too long ago that conspiracy theorists warned you that jab mandates were just down the road, that they were inevitable and they were absolutely going to happen. These people were mocked. And where are we now? Our sitting president said that he didn't think that vaccine mandates were something within his power or something that he would do. And now he has. With all this in mind, I'm reminded of a quote that I saw just last week. This year's conspiracy theorists are beginning to be an awful lot like next year's spoiler alerts. About a year and a half ago, conspiracy theorists told you that COVID numbers were almost certainly inflated, that they were overcounted, and that there was a difference between dying or being hospitalized with COVID versus dying or being hospitalized because of COVID. They were called crazy and spreaders of misinformation, dangerous misinformation at that. Now, Dr. Fauci is on the record saying this exact thing. So what are these crazy conspiracy theorists with oddly impressive and accurate track records warning about today? Well, these conspiracy theorists are widely saying that the jab is likely not as safe or as effective as is being advertised. They're saying that a lot of data is being swept under the rug. They're also saying that this two year period of power grabbing is being leveraged and intentionally used to establish something that many call a new world order something that will be used to forcefully attempt to unify people under a global power structure and a global banner. Who knows what the future holds, but maybe talk to one of your friends, family members, or acquaintances who is last year's conspiracy theorist and this year's spoiler for the end of the book. That's all for today. Have a good one. Take it easy.